Welcome to Mechanical Tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like part modeling, surface modeling, sheet metal enclosure design, plastic components design, product design, reverse engineering, simulation and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to show you how to create oak lamp with a tap flange. So left side you can see the folded state of this component, right side flat pattern. So this is the component I am going to create. So I am going to create in SOLIDWORKS sheet metal module. So let's start now. Select the top plane draw a circle so this is uh, 40 mm draw a circle somewhere outside and uh, Uh, dimension it to 10 mm and select the center point and the circle make it coincide now so select the center point and this origin make it horizontal so it is constrained now now go to trim entities select the power trim remove this material and select this small circle make it into construction now draw one rectangle select this line midpoint select this make it horizontal so the distance between this origin and this line is 16 mm and this is 7 this is 12 so this is for uh, trimming the entities just uh, simply select all this and make it into construction select the power trim and remove this area So after removing, see the, there is a graphical error, so we can come out of the sketch, save this file and we can go to sketch once again. Now draw one line joining these two endpoints. Now go to sheet metal module, see here select the base flange and the height is 10 mm and the thickness I have taken 1 mm and radius 1 k factor 0.45 so k factor should be always less than 0.5 we should remember that next go to sheet metal select the edge flange so select these two edges and create two flanges simply place somewhere here and go to sketch so select this edge and make it 14 mm say ok select the other sketch similarly dimension this line this is 14 and say ok now 
now select this face go to sheet material and select the base flange now draw one rectangle and one more rectangle small rectangle select this two edge and uh, line make it collinear select this line select the midpoint and uh, this point make it vertical delete this line D drag it down go to trim entities select the power trim remove these lines select this line select the midpoint this origin make it vertical select this edge and this line this is 50 mm and this edge and this line is uh, 16 and this is uh, 20 see we have to move a little bit select this one and this edge this point make it coincide see here so select the tab feature and simply say ok so the tab feature has been created see here this tab feature now we have to unfold this so we have to select the flat face select this flat face and collect all bands save okay. now select this face go to sketch draw and straight slot so join the midpoint and this is 25 and this tends between uh, these two lines is uh, 6 mm so it is fully constrained we have to select extruded cut we have to link to thickness and we have to keep it always normal to cut see here now I am going to create hole feature select this face and uh, the hole diameter is 5 mm and say ok now come out of this whole feature and we have to give dimension to this so draw one center line here also center line here also join one center line so we have to coincide with the midpoint so it is coincide so then select these two circles make it equal so we have to apply equal constraint so it is fully constrained now so come out of this now we have to fold this collect all bands and save okay. see here 
now we have to apply this fillets so we have to go to break corners here we have to select the fillet and 1 mm select this corner this corner this corner and this corner Fillets have been created now. See here. So this final component is ready, and uh, this is how this flat pattern looks like. So this is a brief about oak lamp with a tab feature in solver sheet metal module. Thanks for watching.